Hello to all my friends out there. I hope everyone is doing good. This video is live and uncut. I just walked through the door. I'm hungry. No time for messing around. So I store my tea in a baggie. I don't want my tea getting messed up. Chamomile tea. You can drink this stuff. You know when it's icy cold, you don't need anything in it. That's another thing, you know. Yesterday I bought these caramels for a dollar, so I'm eating a few as I'm making my lunch. Okay, so what I have here is a pizza station. Like a drink station, but it's a pizza station. So I was at the 99 cent store and I was really looking for the markdown bins on food. So I bought uh, English muffins for um, 50 cents. So they're six, so they're less than 10 cents each. Uh, at the time I had a bottom, I didn't know what I was gonna make. But that was then and this is now. Um, so, you know, when you make pizzas, you don't need much. Um, I lightly toasted my um, English muffins. When you make pizzas, you don't need much spaghetti sauce. And I also had leftover uh, mushrooms. So the idea of this, too, is to get used to using your stockpile food and your leftovers. That is really going to save money. And I have leftover chip beef. I had more, but it was so yummy I ate a few. Uh, this stuff is really good on pizzas. You can put this uh, chip beef in um, Alfredo, anything. It's yummy. It, it's really good on pizza. Um, I used to work with this guy, and he would get the Iraq uh, beef that they sell in the Iraq stores, and he would put that on his pizzas. It was good. This stuff would be really, really good on a salad. I think this is the better deal, you know, when you're gonna stockpile some canned beef. You can make a sandwich with mustard of this stuff. You can make uh, gravy. You can make all kinds of stuff. I I'm gonna uh, be making some stuff, so, okay. It's going to be good pizza. So I want to encourage you guys to plant a garden to try. It only makes sense that the first few attempts wouldn't go well. And then I have some leftover mushrooms. I will probably die because I left them in the can. Well, if I die, you guys have over 3,000 videos to refer to. <laughs> I'll be okay. I can't die. My son is an only child. Dying is not an option. But you never know. Sometimes you can't help it. My ex-husband couldn't. Okay, so now, in my freezer, I have... Uh, mozzarella cheese this is sliced and I think I bought this at a uh, grocery outlet and so it was sitting in my freezer just for like a day like today and when it I gotta make sure there's no uh, paper on this so when you uh, freeze your cheese sometimes it doesn't come off very nicely um, I was mentioning in the comments you know one of the things you can do to save money is uh, substitute a little meat for a little cheese for meat or eggs for meat. That works out good too. Okay, so now I'm going to heat these just like I heat uh, frozen pizzas. These are way cheaper than frozen pizzas. Frozen pizzas would cost you about 65 cents a good little frozen pizza. These might cost 50 cents if you count everything. So, okay, I will be back in a few minutes with some tasty. Ow, I forgot my pound was hot. Live and uncut. Um, okay, so 
I had the oven on uh, broil to broil my uh, English muffins. Now I have my oven on 400. And I just want to bake these down because they're going to taste better that way. And I want to encourage you all to enjoy, enjoy life um, as best you can. I'm kind of worried about the floods and the hurricanes, but, you know, it's one of those things, nothing you can do. Just be sure you know what you're going to do if they start hitting where, where you live. Okay, you guys. God bless you all.